Let's investigate this idea of equal temperament or the equal tempered scale that's used by pretty much all Western style music today. On the piano keyboard, that's A4. This is also called Concert A, which is defined to be 440 hertz exactly. That's an international standard. You definitely have heard of middle C at some point in your life. That's called C4. And if we go one octave below middle C, we would have C3. So the number is telling us which octave we're on. And uh, on a keyboard, if you're not a keyboardist, you simply find the key that looks exactly the same, uh, either up or down, and that defines one octave. So here's another octave interval up from our concert A. Now a couple notes up is another C, that one's denoted as C5. The question comes about, well, what's the actual frequency of C5, all right? We know that A4 is 440 hertz, but what would be the frequency of something else? Well, the octave defines a ratio of two to one, and we call this a two to one interval. So two notes that are separated by one octave are exactly uh, a factor of two apart in frequency. So this has some impl imp implications for us. Uh, for example, A5, an octave up from A4 would be twice 440 or 880 hertz. If we start at A4 and go down one octave, this would be A3. That will be 440 divided by 2, or 220 hertz. So in this way, you can jump uh, an octave at a time and calculate a number of frequencies for the various pitch designations on the keyboard. Let's do one more. A2 would be 110 hertz. Incidentally, 20 hertz is a lower limit of human hearing, so you can start to kind of get a sense of how close we're getting to that limit. Now if we consider the, the actual difference in frequencies here, we see that it, it looks like the difference changes pretty dramatically across the keyboard. The difference between A2 and A3 is only 110 hertz, whereas the difference between A4 and A5 is 440 hertz. So we see that the actual difference um, in frequency increases as we go towards the right on the keyboard, which is where we have our increasing frequency. So again, as we consider those uh, frequencies, we see some pretty uh, dramatic changes across the keyboard. So what we're looking for in terms of our tuning concept for equal temperament is given a reference frequency F0 and a number of what we call semitones above or below F0. N is an integer, can be negative if we're below. We want to calculate the frequency uh, of that interval, which is not necessarily just an octave. So if we're keeping track of our semitone number, if we say F0 is defined as our 440 hertz, then if we move a half step up, which would be the black key, that's N1, or N equals one, excuse me. If I count up a, a number of other half steps or semitones to, to get N equals seven, here this black key would be N equals 11, and again, an octave up would be N equals 12. So semitone, same thing as a half step. If we go up 12, uh, semitones, we're back to our octave interval. Now the concept of equal temperament then is to take the octave and divide it equally amongst these 12 semitones. But all that I was pointing out there is that if we have a negative value that simply scoots us down to a lower frequency. So we'll divide our octave into 12 equal sub, sub intervals 
or semitones, also called half steps. And if we consider our frequencies now, say F naught, well, an octave interval, interval above that is twice F naught. There's three times the original frequency, there's four times. Four times would be an octave above two times, so there's another octave interval showing up. Notice that it's wider, right? We see that the frequency span is greater than for the previous octave. An octave below our reference frequency would be half the frequency. So here we see that one octave appears to be fairly short. So one of the things we have is if we plot strictly on a linear scale, we see that an octave interval um, gets progressively wider at the higher frequencies. But if I plot my frequencies according to a log scale, and I'm selecting log base 2 to kind of match our 2 to 1 ratio that we're discussing, then an equal distance traversed along our axis is always one octave. Even if we go the other direction, say f naught over 2, that equal distance is still um, one octave. All right. Now another way to think about this is that each of these scale factors could be represented as a power of 2 and again that's why we're using the base 2 logarithm is because that corresponds to our fundamental choice of the octave interval uh, to, to work with. All right so again every uh, given jump along our log frequency axis is always corresponding to an octave. Now let's consider a single octave that we divide into 12 equal sub-intervals. Sub n equals 0 would simply put us at our reference frequency. n equals 12 puts us at one uh, octave above our reference frequency. Now the good part. We're trying to calculate the frequency of something in between those two, two uh, octave endpoints. Since we're dealing with log frequency, I can write down that log 2 or log base 2 of the frequency in between will be log base 2 of our reference at the left side plus, say, the fractional chunk of our octave interval. In this case, that would be 7 twelfths. So that becomes like a constant offset. Well, I can generalize this a bit and say, well, instead of just considering 7, let's consider n. All right. Now, I'm going to play a little uh, mathematical trick here. It's not really a trick. I'm just saying I can take this value, I can multiply it by 1. And 1 is the same thing as log base 2 of 2. Okay, what's the purpose of doing that? Well, if you remember something about how exponents work with logarithms, you'll recall that a constant factor in front of log of x is the same thing as log of x raised to a. So that allows me to take my n over 12 and write that as an exponent to 2. Now you'll also recall that if I had the sum of two logs, I can combine those into a single one as a product. Since I have log base 2 on both sides of the equation, I can eliminate that, and I'm left with my fairly simple expression. It says that any frequency is my reference frequency times 2 raised to the semitone number divided by 12.